So far on this birding trip to Smith Island, we've encountered dozens of species, taken a tour of Yule and Tylerton, and had the world's best crab cake. And now it's time for the really cool stuff. I'm finding your way because I don't want to get in the we're in Virginia, just south of the Maryland line, in an area that the islanders call the Shankses. And it's here that brown pelicans have chosen to raise their young. You can really see the colors on the adult, the breeding there. They do take turns incubating the eggs. They incubate the eggs on their feet, like penguins. Brown pelicans have only been coming to Smith Island since the early 1980s, but their numbers really took off in the 90s, and for some good reasons. One is that this is on an island and there are no predators such as foxes. Another reason is the abundant food supply. And those big long wings, lots of fragile hollow bones, they can fly up 40, 50 feet and if they see a fish, they can dive and hit the water. Now they don't go under the water, right? They stop. When they hit the water, they've got muscles around their neck and their spine that tighten up. They have little air sacs under their breasts, even in their bones, that fill up with air like a little buoy, and they kind of inflate and they stop. And when they hit the water, they then lunge with that bill, and they take it and they scoop up as much fish as they can. They'll bob up, they'll dip the water to build down, to drain the water out. The lower mandible expands sideways so they can keep the fish but drain the water off, and you'll see them throw their head back and gulp down the fish. And this is just one colony, so we'll explore more of the Shankses. This bigger colony has plenty of fledglings. So, the pelicans lay between two to three eggs, uh, about 30 days of incubation, and then 75 days from hatch to fledge. So 30 days plus two months, it's like three and a half months from incubation to flight. So it's a long season. And they, they spend their summers here, so there'll be birds out here into August, even some into September before they're flying, and that's when you see them on the beaches. So if you start seeing pelicans like at Assateague, Ocean City, or Lewis, whatever, a lot of them probably are these birds that have fledged and they're taken off. Then they go expand and, and fly. They go all the way up to Long Island, you know, and then they turn around and go right back south to, you know, the southern states, the islands uh, in the winter. They don't winter here. Oh, I think it's just awesome. Just awesome. I've never seen so many babies. Some of these babies now have a heart on their back. And this is that point in their fledging where the brown feathers are coming in and taking over the white feathers, but the wings still have white feathers, but there's a perfect little heart shape on the backs of these birds that are probably anywhere from five to six weeks old. I love about that story about the 90s, like the ones that found that nest and were like, oh my God, did they go back in the winter and be like, you got to come with me next summer. Because <laughs> they did, they all started coming. So the, when you see them out there and their lower mandibles are kind of rippling, that's called a gular flutter. It's like a dog panting, I think. It's like evaporating water inside the bill to keep them cool. Brown pelicans are just one of nine species worldwide. And even though they look big, they're actually the smallest. Uh, there's two in North America, the brown pelican. This is the world's smallest pelican and the American white pelican. And we do have white pelicans hanging out at Blackwater National Wildlife Refuge and a few at Bombay Hook National Wildlife Refuge in Delaware lately. But the rest are found in like Africa, Asia. The largest in the world is the Dalmatian pelican. I saw them in Greece once, they're giant. Like the world's heaviest flighted bird, I think, today. The weather has turned out to be great and we're actually a little ahead of schedule. So as a bonus, we'll take a trip to a small island they call the Tower. Here we'll see a huge egret and heron rookery before returning home. These birds nest up in trees. There you go, look at that. There you go. Yep, that's the word, oh wow. Snowy egrets in here, you've got great egrets. Here's a tricolor there, the tricolor flying. Yeah, all those little wispy fuzzy heads are the babies, they're getting pretty big. That's the show, folks. <laughs> Good, it was fun. Yay! <laughs> and that about sums up a perfect birding trip. So if you'd like to spread your wings and try something new, you absolutely cannot go wrong with the Delmarva birding adventure to Smith Island.